Good morning. I'm Dhruv Qureshi and I'll be talking on the drug therapy in myeloma, which is simply a cancer of the bone marrow. The bone marrow is the nice spongy part inside the hard bone where the cells of your blood are manufactured. But in myeloma, these cells are produced in excess and abnormally. So we have a buffet of drugs treating this by stopping the spread of the cancer or by attacking the cancer by activating the immune system. But today we'll focus on just one drug with a supervillain-like name called cyclophosphamide. So what does our friend do? Well, it is an immune suppressing anti-cancer drug used in chemotherapy. As we know, cancer cells divide rapidly without regulation. Just as we pass on our genes to our children, cancer cells pass on DNA to newly formed cells. It is at this point cyclophosphamide intervenes by attaching its chemical group to the DNA of cancer cells, damaging it to prevent further division. And when the DNA is damaged in such a manner, the cell itself dies. So the drug achieves its goal of killing cancer cells. But while mainly targeting cancer cells, the drug also affects healthy cells through the same mechanism, especially the immune cells, which are, respond which are the foot soldiers defending you against bacteria, fungi and viruses. Due to this reduction of soldiers posted along the LOC of your body, a common side effect is immune suppression, making you prone to inf infections. It is also known to disrupt menstruation in women and sperm production in men. Other side effects include hair loss, vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss, abdominal pain, changes in skin and nail color, painful urination, black tarry stools, and yellow discoloration of the eyes. But as frightening as chemotherapy sounds, its effects vary from person to person and the dose administered. Several patients even continue with their routine lives while receiving chemotherapy on the side. The regimen is implemented in cycles over a period of time where cyclophosphamide may be given in combination with other drugs simultaneously. This may be followed by a transplantation of new blood producing stem cells, much like switching out old engine parts for new ones. Cyclophosphamide comes in both tablet and injection forms. The tablets are swallowed once a day and on missing a dose, the next dose is carried as usual. Injections are in the form of dissolved powder and can be injected into the vein, muscle, abdomen and chest by a doctor or a nurse. The length of the treatment depends on your body's re response to the combination of drugs. Before taking cyclophosphamide, check with your physician about allergies and current medications, especially chemotherapy drugs that you might be on. The drug is commercially available in India and sold under the brand name Endoxan, ranging from 72 to 280 rupees per dose depending on the dosage, making it relatively affordable for those who need it. Thank you.